Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to change domain name in Squarespace. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here on Squarespace, you might want to click on the upper right corner, the create account section. And from here, creating your account is a breeze because you can simply continue with your Google. You can continue with your business or work email or just click on the more options wherein you can continue with their Apple, your Facebook. And then once you've clicked on the create account button, you are all set. Okay, so once you are here, changing a domain name to point to your Squarespace website involves a few steps. But normally, it's a direct and straightforward process. Now, once you are here on your account, you might want to click on the homepage wherein it depends on the interface that you have but if you are still following navigate to the left side panel of your dashboard and click the settings section in the lower left corner and from here just hover to the domains and email and as you can see you have two options one is for the domains wherein you can register and manage domains from Squarespace or other domain sellers. Now, if you click on it, you have again two options wherein you can get a domain if you don't have it yet. All right. Click on that. And from here, you can get a domain specifically for your website. You can choose for anywhere from this one, andyguide.com, andyguide.net. That's for my website. Andyguide.org and the guides.com and a lot more now obviously all the domain sections are includes the prices now from twenty dollars per year there's like twelve dollars annually there's four dollars yearly so it's up to you to choose if you wanted to get a new domain especially powered by squarespace now if you're not interested and you just wanted to use the domain you own basically what you need to do now is enter the domain for example and it's going to be andyguy.com if it's that available just click on forward and what will happen is it's not registered but if it's registered you will actually see the domain appearing here and of course from there you can change it now the third option is pretty much uh straightforward as you can see this is the built-in domain from the squarespace just click on it now this is the uh, domain details it has its ssl certificate status and from here all you're gonna do is change it to the domain name that you wanted right it's a straightforward process and not and i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one